Welcome, Gemini. This is going to be your singles reading. Let's go ahead and grab some messages of love and see what's coming through. So we have commitment, long-term relationship, ghosted desire, lust, sexual chemistry, disappear, silence, ignored, rejected. Archangel Michael is coming in the reading, protection, prevented from further harm, as we have on the bottom of the deck, the divine timing. So intervention is here, what I'm seeing, okay? There's, uh, we have pregnancy, money, um, heart strings. I like to pull out these cards just to get a feeling of what may be going on with you guys. Again, take what resonates. We also have one night stand coming in, casual relationship, highest high adrenaline rush, like a roller coaster. Uh, we have love offer, engagement coming in, and let's grab a couple more for you guys. Okay, spiritual awakening, healing, fate, meant to be, and synchronicities, anchored, chained, weighed down. So these are the cards that are coming up for your reading. So let's go ahead and see what is coming through for you guys. Um, I'm going to start off getting straight into the tarot. Let's see what is coming in for Gemini. Oh, I love this. Hello. Beautiful energy. Okay. You have been through a lot here. A lot. Gemini. And with that Six of Swords energy, there's a sense of um, overcoming some, some uh, uh, what's that word called? Overcoming a lot of obstacles with that Six of Swords, mostly in the mind, feeling for a lot, some of you guys or someone could be feeling stuck at this time. Um, as there may be delays in communication or progress. Uh, but with this Queen of Rings energy, as the overall energy here, it does look like there is a, a sense of you protecting yourself here, trying to rise above and ground yourself at the moment. Four of Cups. There's a sense of feeling unsatisfied or over something. Somebody here with the lovers is coming in. The challenge is a fight, disagreements, not seeing eye to eye with somebody. This person has the sun energy, which is you, because you're coming up with the king, queen of rings. This person isn't thinking about you here. Um, in the near future, it does feel like, you know, there is some type of a feeling of, of loneliness, loss, and here we are. But I feel through the unknown, through these uncertain times, um, Gemini, we do have the moon. So this is all about mystery and things happening behind the scenes. Uh, with justice, this is a, a, like a, a, all about balance and being true to yourself, doing the right thing. So this is more of karmic justice too. But it looks like the challenge here is not seeing eye to eye, feeling like something is not equal. There could have been a fight, an argument, or some conflict still happening here. We do have the strength in the past and we do have you know, courage here too with fortitude. I can't, I don't know if I'm saying that right. But this this does represent overcoming a lot of things, okay? Just, wow, very powerful, strong, brave energy um, you are. And whatever is coming in in the outcome, it does show that there is a sense of like choices or opportunities being presented through the unknown. A little bit of confusion and setbacks, of course, but it's all about you being true to yourself, okay? So, Let's jump right into the reading and start clarifying the lover's card. This is more in this person's energy. The Wheel of Fortune. The King of Pentacles. Okay, so with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, it's very important that this to know that someone is making very poor decisions, which I feel that's what you're seeing. Uh, they're coming in with mixed signals, unstable, possibly deceitful for some. Um, a, a, there's a need for more of a solid foundation, but this is like a cycle that this person could be going through and having a hard time breaking away from these unhealthy attachments. As for you, I feel that you're just over this type of energy that is in this cycle. Yeah, with that two of swords in the reverse with the knight of swords, there may have been, you know, a feeling of, of things feeling stagnant. But we also have the knight of swords. The knight of swords can be very focused, determined, you know, however. But I feel if this is a person that's coming to you, I feel like you are kind of just 
not like not wanting to um uh, associate with them at this time, not wanting to engage with them at this time, because the two of swords in your energy is more, st I'm sorry, is more stating that there's still confusion surrounding the situation. Okay. And there's a really, there's a need to really trust yourself and how you handle this. If you, yeah. And to trust your judgment at this time, it does look like there may be somebody rushing in or you, uh, or, or that impulse feeling. Okay, so we'll see. We're going to get more into it. Here's that king king of pentacles once again in the challenge with the hair fan. So for, for a lot of you guys, this could have been, look at you, coming up upright in the reading with the king of swords. That's that's a huge confirmation. Both these cards are upright. So this is you, your your card. Now, with this challenge, it is saying that the reason why things may be, you know, not seeing eye to eye is because somebody, again, is making poor decisions. Someone is coming off out of balance. They're not being fair. Um, there is a sense of the hair faint. Uh, this could be a commitment or some separation regarding, you know, marriage or a relationship. But it all has to do with beliefs and values. Uh, but let's go ahead and get more into it because the King of Swords is very truthful. It's standing in your truth. It's being direct in communication. It's the, your mind is clear. There is a sense of holding back as you're making a choice and making this choice for your future. So whatever this is in the past, I feel like you're wanting to block this energy. Stay, stay more in that, um, um, in that. Uh, how do you say a strong stance with strong boundaries because i feel like there's a sense of you just protecting yourself during this time okay oh it looks like somebody is in their mind is thinking about this new beginning whatever's happening with this tower i feel because the two of wands is coming in in the reversed and when that comes in this is more of like this person is feeling blocked by your energy, okay? Um, and it's really affecting them. I feel that this person is thinking about this new beginning um, because they're feeling blocked, especially with that tower. So I feel like this person, regardless, there's a sense of deceit and it looks like they are trying to move into a different direction, but because of some tower moment here between you guys. And it does feel that there is a lot of conflict in the near future, as in there's struggles within this situation. There's a feeling of detaching from this energy, just feeling disconnected it's hard to even communicate with this person. So I do feel like big change is happening between um, you and this person, which I feel like it doesn't even feel like they're wanting to um, even look in the mirror at this time. I feel like they do feel that they lost you. Uh, and it does look like you are more taking action in a different direction. There is a sense of... Um, there is a sense of a lot of sadness, possibly, you know, a, a divorce in some way or just in separation. But I feel with the moon, this is you really trusting yourself here at this time. OK, because you're you're setting boundaries for yourself, I feel. And you're trying and you know that something is not like you can't really engage with this person. So it's like it feels unfair. It feels out of balance. It feels, you know, like you're hitting a wall with this energy. And I feel like you are protecting yourself. And this person, no matter how hard they try, they're feeling blocked by you. And I feel they're just thinking like they're in their mind, they're thinking, but what their reason why they're thinking this is because of a tower, uh, because of the, the drama, the chaos that was created here. And now they're like, should I move on? You know, because it's like the damage I cause. It's like the damage they cause. It's like they, it's, it's, they're not, they're thinking that they have to move on, you know, into a new direction here. And uh, I feel like you have your back turned on them looking at the world in this card with the two of wands ready to close out a chapter. But in the outcome, 
there is this Knight of Swords again coming in with the Seven of Cups. And when I see this, this is rushed energy in the outcome. And that could be what's happening behind the scenes. Now, even though somebody here may be going in a new direction or feeling like they have to go into a new direction, even though they feel very happy, uh, you know, not happy, but even though they have still have feelings here, the Knight of Swords is saying that there's an impulsive feeling that's coming in in the outcome due to um, stress and anxiety and possibly deceit and cheating and lies. So there's something lacking with this person. It's We're going to get more into it because in the near future, it does show, I mean, in the challenge, it does show that someone's being deceitful. Someone's being very hurtful. And it's, it's more of like them knowing that there's, this is, um, yeah, see, I wish this never happened, regret. Them knowing that they caused a lot of crap. But it's, but it just looks like in their mind, like the reason why they're thinking about moving forward because the damage, they caused so much damage. They don't think it's like repairable. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Yeah, I wish this never happened. I always feel connected to you, soul tie and mistakes. I wish I could right my wrong. So that's what I'm saying. It's like this person is feeling defeated. And from how you look too, it looks like this person really caused a lot of, um, you know, damage within their relationship to where I feel like you wouldn't even take them back even if they tried again you know that's just what I'm saying what I'm seeing here I have never felt this strongly for anyone I love you and I miss you and that's their confession to you here but we see here again just lies deceit you know an affair even so Gemini I'm just seeing that for you here um within this reading but again, tarot can change at any time, but I am seeing this for you guys right now, okay? So your message from spirit is, what you seek is seeking you. Believe, focus, intent, meet with destiny. Bottom of the deck, the world is a mountain that echoes your words. Uh, reflection, seeing effects, what you do matters. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys here. I am gonna grab a love message. All right, we have two new beginnings. A new beginning awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of love and life. All right, Gemini, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for you. I hope you enjoyed this message. I hope it helped. Again, the justice card is coming up to say karmic justice will be served. You are pre prevailing from this or you will prevail and um, things are a bit, you know, things are still happening behind the scenes. So things, are, uh, more things may be revealed to you as time goes on. But what I'm seeing here right now is just new beginnings here too. Um, and you right here with the justice, like, doing the right thing for you okay being true to you at this time so again if you do like this reading if it helped in any way please like and subscribe and i will see you guys for your bonus readings god bless